Hey YouTube, um, apologies in advance for the bad microphone. I know it sounds low and it sounds fuzzy, but I'm actually getting a new microphone soon, so yep. Um, I've watched many YouTube videos in the past, but I've never actually made one. Um, the reason that I've decided to start making videos is because there's been a lot of debate lately on YouTube um, surrounding Islam, Islamophobia and the publication of the Muhammad cartoons. Um, this video is going to be a response to a video called Islamophobia by Gypsy Eyed. Um, first of all, I reject the term Islamophobia and I'll tell you why. Um, I think that inventing a term like Islamophobia for a religion is dangerous because it further reinforces the view that religions can't be criticised, that they have some kind of divine right and that freedom of religion must be allowed. Um, I think that Islamophobia sounds like an attempt by political correctists to somehow equate religion and race. However, the two aren't comparable, obviously, because race is something that one can change, whereas religion is merely a set of beliefs and rules that one chooses to follow. And therefore, I think that we should always leave religion wide open to criticism. Um, the whole debate about the cartoons it really just boils down to con conflict between freedom of religion and freedom of speech in my eyes. However, what is freedom of religion? It's entirely subjective. If I want to start my own religion and believe that there's some magical sentient being somewhere in space that asks me to flash photos of pornography to school children after they come out of school every day, is that allowed under freedom of religion? Or is freedom of religion just a term we invented to further protect large and powerful groups of religious followers? So what about freedom from religion? Um, it seems to me that in the last number of decades we've seen an exponential growth in atheism, but we've also seen an exponential growth in complacency. Um, if you look at so many liberal thinkers on YouTube, and especially feminists, it's astounding to see how many really just don't care about religion. A lot of them just say, oh yeah, you know, I don't have a religion, I'm an atheist. But whatever anyone wants to do is just fine by me. Well, is it fine by you? Because you're campaigning for equality, justice, freedom, all these values which religion clearly goes against. And if you can't see that, well then I think it's going to take a bit more than for me to explain it to in a YouTube video because frankly I think it's clear as day. Um, if you look at the video which I'll publish in the description it is a lecture given by one of the Swedish cartoonists to a group of students which is disrupted by a group of Muslims who chant Allah Akbar and one of them proceeds to headbutt him. Um, when we take this in context, uh, who really is the aggressor here? I mean, this man published a cartoon, sure, but why do Muslims care it what non-Muslims do? Um, again, it's kind of linked to freedom of religion. I mean, the man isn't a Muslim, so why do you care what he does? As long as you don't publish cartoons yourself. Shouldn't you kind of get on with your own life and, you know, worry about getting to heaven yourself rather than what happens to him? I think Draw Muhammad Day on May 20th is a really good idea and I don't think the issue is about needlessly insulting others, but it's about criticising ridiculous and silly beliefs. Um, I mean, when someone merely publishes a cartoon, this can lead to calls for jihad, violence and Sharia law. Um, this is a man, by the way, who gets frequent death threats and has got police protection. Again, all of this is just another example of how religion so dangerously transcends human boundaries, values and norms. When we remove the religious aspect to it and just look at the facts, then we see that a cartoon or a film can lead to death quite easily. And does that make sense much? No. So... Why are we still so preoccupied about freedom of religion and not offending religious followers? It really is absurd to me and I really think that 
especially feminists, when we talk about Islam, should know better. Um, I'm going to end this video with a quote from an ex-Muslim feminist, Ayan Hirsi Ali, you've probably heard of her. She said, when a life of Brian comes out with Muhammad in the lead role, directed by an Arab equivalent of Theo van Gogh, it will be a huge step forward. Peace.